皆さん、こんにちは。僕の名前はヨークフィールドです。ヨークフィールド is back for the seventh episode of Tokyo School Life. And、um, I think you remember in the end of the sixth episode,、um, Sakura fainted while I was recording Samurai Maiden, the anime she asked me to record. Well, she was taken to a hospital by a QQ shop or a, an ambulance in Japanese. But yeah, in this episode, we'll see what will happen to Sakura. I hope she's not gonna like die or something like that because if so, it's gonna make me freaking cry. The local hospital is near the station in town. I apply for entry and get a guest badge. As I expected, there's not many people here at this hour. I arrive at the room, but there's no name written on the nameplate. Is this really the right place? As I wonder, <laughs> the door opens from inside. Sakura? Ah, you got that. I thought I was going to be a little bit of 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 a little Oh my god, that music, I love it, it's so calm. It's an immaculate and pretty looking private room. I sit on a chair and s- as Sakura told me to. Sakura sits on the hospital bed in her pajamas. I don't know how to put it, but it kind of suits her. Somehow, it feels like being here is just part of a regular day. I just pushed myself a little too hard today. It's not a big deal, but they insist that I stay the night just in case. I recorded it. I brought it on your laptop just like you asked to. Um, I just realized this, but your field son, does this mean you went in my room? Huh? No, 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 no way! I was sure to get Ayoui to bring it to me. Ah, so this is it! You got that! I was so excited, I forgot to forget the phone. Oh, of course, thank goodness. I was so careless, I forgot to tell you that. Even I'm not that sensitive. Insensitive, sorry. You are already watching? Your field sound, did you watch it already? No, I wanted to watch it with you, so I didn't watch it yet. Oh, that's perfect! Let's watch as much as we can together up until the very end of visiting hours. I bring the laptop and BD out of my messenger bag and set them up. We both gaze at the small LCD monitor. We keep the volume pretty low so we don't bug anyone. Field son, look, Saigu chan is moving. She's so cute and dignified. Wow, amazing. She's exactly like in the manga. No, even better. I wonder how many frames this uses. Ah, not this, ne. Oh, um, your field son, I actually have a secret I haven't told to Ayoui san and Karin san yet. Oh, what is it? I'm an otaku, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Don't know why this made me laugh, but yeah, that's cool. Why are you quiet now? Well, because after you talk so deeply about Samurai Maiden, it'd be hard to believe you're not an otaku. I had a lot of fun with you this afternoon. It's been my dream to talk about otaku stuff like that with a friend. 
So if it's okay with you, I'd like to do it again. Sakura stares at me with hopeful but also worried eyes. Man, nobody in the world could say that would say no to that face. Like I told you, I should be the one asking you this. Oh, I had so much fun. Yorkfield san knows a lot about Samurai Maiden. We had such a great talk. Great. Yes, we talked until the very last minute of visiting hours. The head nurse almost got angry with us. Oh. Hey, Sakura! Yes? If you're pushing yourself too hard, tell us. You made me so worried. I'm very sorry. I, c I thought I could make it. You think that every single time right up until you pass out? Learn from your mistakes already. I don't want to let others down, so it makes it hard for me to stop in the middle of something. You gotta stop being so considerate. Think about your own health first. Please relax, Karin-chan. Also about Yorkfield. What about Yorkfield, son? Uh, um, well... Um... Karin-chan got mad at Yorkfield for abandoning Sakura-chan. Hey, don't! Aoi! Oh my. I just misunderstood a little. I didn't know you asked him to record something. Ah. I'm really sorry. I feel bad for what I did. It was presumptuous for me to try to meet the expectations of others when I can't even look after myself. Uh, no, that's not what I'm trying to say. No. I'm truly sorry that I made you worry so much. We just want you to let us help you a little more, Sakura-chan. Yes, you're absolutely right. Yeah, because we're family. I must apologize to Yorkfield-san later. Uh, maybe I should that do that too. I'm speechless, guys, about this. I'm speechless. Thanks a bunch! Sure, good luck on your exams. Oh. It's not a big deal, but you should watch the casual language when you speak to a teacher. Casual language? When you speak to an authority figure, you should order, you should use keigo, the polite form of Japanese. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I, just, I learned Japanese on my own, so it's kinda... I mean, it's difficult for me. Oh, your Japanese is so good that I just started being picky. Sorry, you don't have to worry about it that much. Thanks a bunch. It's just another day after school. I bow to the teacher and stay behind in the science prep room. The science prep room is a small storage room attached to the science classroom used by the science teacher. They keep the lesson materials, tools for experiments, and that kind of stuff in there. <laughs> oh, Yorkfield, 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 Yorkfield. <laughs> She's so excited. <laughs> there you are. The Karate Duel Club has the day off today. A familiar face rushes up to me. Yeah, I always really like a puppy. I remember the beagle we used to have back home. I put my hand on I always had a robin around in circles. What? What's this for all of a sudden? Uh um Aoi, your hair has a twisted in a weird way. What? No way! I still had bad head? I went through class like that all day? It's okay, it wasn't that bad. It didn't stand out, and I already fixed it, no problem. I calmed down Aoi as she messes with her hair, and the two of us walked towards the classroom. So, Yorkville, what were you doing? Oh, well exams are coming up, and I'm the only one who's on a diff different education level than everyone else, so they let me see the test from last year and the year before that as a reference. Oh, I wanna see you too. That's not fair. No, I gotta just deal with it. I'll have Sakura-chan help me and try really hard. I always a good girl.
Yorkfield, you were in the science lab, so did you see the human anatomy model Yoshio-kun? Anatomy model? Yeah, there was one in there, so it's named Yoshio-kun, huh? There's an anim anatomical model that shows muscles, organs, and skeletal structure. It's kind of gross because it's so realistic, but Yoshio-kun has kind of a funny face that makes him a little cute. So, then you'd be... Then you'd better be careful on your way home tonight. Ayui chuckles quietly. Is she trying to trick me or something? Oh, Ayui Yorkfield, do you have your club today? Take this! Yeah. There's no one but Karin and Sakura in the classroom. School's out, so the other classmates must have all gone to their clubs or gone home. Still, it's rare for no one else to be here. Today's Thursday, so it's a day off. Karin chan, Sakura chan, what about you? What's up? Karin has the day off too, so we're considering going to get shaved ice. Yay! Nice! Shaved ice! Cold ice on a hot day is essential for a Japanese summer. I wanna come. You're filled. You'll come too, right? Yeah, of course I'd love to. School's out, so the air conditioner is turned off. The rays of the sun shine in from the classroom windows. Cold shaved ice? Sounds perfect. By the way, Ayoi, what did you mean by saying to watch out tonight on the way home? Karina and Sakura stare blankly. Well, yeah, I was confused when she said that too. Yorofiel said he met Yoshio-kun in the science lab. Ah, Oh, I see. One of the seven mysteries at Keia Kidai Hai, the shy ana anatomical model, Yoshio kun. Seven mysteries? In other words, ghost stories. Ghost stories involving the school are called the Seven Mysteries. Wow, is that common here? I don't remember many ghost stories about schools in my country. Hey, hey, don't talk about this stuff. They say it's a bad karma to just bring it up, so let's change the subject. Karin, you don't like scary stories, do you? What? Give me a break. Don't be an idiot. I know there's no such thing as ghosts, of course. Then what's the problem? So, Ayoi, how does the story go? Yoshio-kun is a very shy anatomy model. If he's left out in the science classroom, he immediately faints from the embarrassment of everyone looking at him. So they had to leave him in the science prep room. That's pretty surreal. Well, I can kind of understand how they came up with it. He's, he's butt naked in front of everyone, I guess. <laughs> He has to show everything right down to his internal organs. If I think about it, I would be embarrassed to death. But they say Yoshio-kun is also the lonely type, so if you make eye contact with him in the lab room, he'll fall in love with you. Oh, now it's sounding like a ghost story. So what's gonna happen to me now that Yoshio-kun has got to the hots for me? You seem a little too happy for this. Come on, it's exciting, isn't it? 
気に入った人の後をつけるんだ。そして、夜の街路で、一人きり。誰もいなくなった瞬間、背後に視線を感じて振り返ると。When Yoshio is interested in someone, he follows them. So at night, when you're on the street, alone, absolutely no one else around, you feel like someone's looking at you. You turn around and. and? Tenchu が照らした明かりの下には。なんということでしょう誰もいないのですあなたは、なんだ気のせいかと首をひねるのでした。Bath in the street lights. You look carefully, but what's this? There's no one there. You think it's just your imagination and keep on walking. Huh? It's not Yoshio kun? Yoshio kun wa shy desu kara ne. Well, Yoshio kun is very shy. What? Nonsense, I don't get it. Nani itte no yo, anta? Sakki made soko ni ita hazu na no yo? Zen na no jintai mo kei ga? Sore ga inai no yo? Kowai s h a n a i What do you mean? He should be following you. He's a buck naked anatomy model, but then he's not there. That's scary. Japanese ghost story must be a little over my head. Anta, Nihon wa ura kara ugokasu himitsu no sonzai no koto wa shitteru? Do you know the secret organization that controls Japan from the shadows? Huh? What's that? Mochiron, ninja yo? Of course, the ninja. Give me a break. You have another thing coming if you think a gaijin would believe anything you say as long as it's about it. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my god! <laughs> no! No way! No way! Oh my god! Looks at me with a perplexed expression. What's that look? Wait, hold on. For real? Ninja no sugata wa, futsu no ninja ni wa toe rae rae nae. Demo, chotto shita iwa kan wa nokoru. Sore ga kaidan to shite, ii tsutae rae rae yo ni na atta no yo. Normal people can see ninja, but they still get an uneasy feeling. That unexplained feeling is the origin of Japanese ghost stories. No way! So the story of Yoshio kun? もちろんよ。理科室には怪しい薬品や道具も多いでしょそうした人間を監視している忍者の気配が。Of course, there are lots of mysterious chemicals and tools in the science prep room, right? There's at the presence of a ninja watching over and. So that's the prototype for the Yoshiokun story. Amazing! Ninja are real! Karin, what are you laughing about? <laughs> oh man, what a cutie. He pillows any crap I make. <laughs> so gullible. <laughs> Made up. <laughs> oh. oh my god, Cuddy. Ninja wa tashka ni samurai no jidai ni oumitsu toshite katsuyak shimashita ga manga no yo na jojin dewa ari masen yo. Ninja were active in secret during the samurai age. But they weren't superhuman like in manga. What a cruel trick. What happened to the peaceful heart of the Japanese? Wano kokoro. Heart of the Japanese? Sa- Sakura looks as though- Sakura looks as though she's pondering something. Wano kokoro to wa ikairu to shui ni awaseru kokoro to yu koto na no desu yo ne. They often say the heart of the Japanese is the heart that matches itself to its surroundings. I hate that. Everybody going the same way is just lame. Yokel-san, from a foreigner's point of view, do Japanese people look like they're all following the same path? Mm, to answer that, it's true some people say that condescendingly, but I don't really see things that way. To be honest, at first, when I had to wear a uniform, I was pretty bummed about it. 
んだよ。Why is that? I've never been to a school where we had to wear uniforms. So on the first day of school, when I saw my classmates, I was pretty surprised. ああ、その感じはちょっとわかるな。中学校から制服になったんだけど。小学校の同じ友達が急に大人っぽく見えたな。Oh yeah, I can kind of understand that. We started wearing uniforms in middle school and felt like my grade school friends are grown up all of a sudden. へえ、青いそんなこと考えてたんだ。私はちょうど中学に入るときに上京したから、それどころじゃなかったな。Wow, that's how you felt, Aoi. I first started middle school when I moved to Tokyo. So the uniforms were last, the last thing on my mind. So the last thing on my mind. You're filled, you said at first. So does that mean you're used to wearing a uniform now? Yep, I'm used to it. On the other hand, it actually makes things easy. I don't have to worry about fashion and stuff like that. Oh, when I say that, getting used to it quite the look. What did I say something wrong? You're scaring me. Safe, だからって手抜きなんかしてないっての裾の長さとか折り返しとかアクセとかいろいろ工夫してるんだってば Just because we wear uniform doesn't mean we slack off. Things like the length of our skirts, cuffs, accessories, we gotta take all that into account. Oh, so that's how it is. So, だね高速があるからあんまり派手にはいじれないけどみんな割と細々といじったりしてるよ。Yeah, it is. Because of school rules, we can't wear anything too flashy, but everybody's pretty detail oriented about it. Oh, I see. I didn't realize. 私は最低限人に不快感を与えない身だしなみができていれば、それでいいと思うのですけども。I think as long as I don't cause any discomfort to others with my appearance, that's the least I can do. もう、さくら。あんた素材は最高なんだからもうちょっと気を使いなってば Jeez, Sakura, you've got great looks to work with, so you ought to pay more attention. おしゃれには手間暇がかかるのです。Fashion is quite labor intensive. I guess that's one thing that is, that's the same in every country, huh? と言いますとあなたの国でも Oh, so it's like that in your country too, your field son? Yeah, if you had a bad fashion sense, girls won't pay attention to you. Geeks kind of rebel against that, though. Sakura looks around restlessly. Oh, yeah, Sakura has a secret taku. Sakura, your cl- casual clothes make you look like a princess. I think they're really cute. What are you saying? I, I wasn't worried about it or anything. But anyway, um. Arigato gozaimasu. You're welcome. I suddenly hear a, hear a cute cry from somewhere. Nya? From the half open classroom door, a black cat peers in at us. It stares at us carefully with small round eyes. I think Kanin's eyes are gonna light up. Oh, a kitty, I wonder where he got him from. k e r i n fervently tries calling the cat by clicking her tongue. It looks like a little hesitant and glances around the room, then timidly walks toward us. The cat purrs and rubs on i w i s legs. She scoops it right up to her, ar- her arms. Oh, wow. That. What? Wow. What pretty black fur. It doesn't look like a stray. I wonder where it's from. Oh, it's a boy. Okay, calm down. Oh, she's kicking us out. Oh, Ayui, let me hold him. I want to hold him. Let me hold him! Okay, but Karin chan, don't be too rough with him. You always. Okay, 
It's okay, I know. I won't be a, it won't be a problem, I swear. Aoi gently hands the cat to her as Karin trembles with excitement. Oh, cute! Kitty, you are so cutesy woodsy. She starts nuzzling her face against the cat like crazy. Ah, fluffy, wuffy, bluff, puffy, fluffy, so nicey, wicey, cutesy, wootsy. Ka Karin's got a crazy look in her eyes. She seemed like a different person, and uh, isn't that cat getting annoyed? Uh oh. The cat scratches Karin's hand. He nimbly escapes from her grasp and jumps on a desk, then goes right to Ayoi's lap and curls up. Ayoi rubs the cat's neck and he turns and purrs happily. <coughs> oh, kitty! Just like I told you! Oh no, Karin chan, you're bleeding! I'll put on a bandage so don't move. Aoi has already has skillfully taken a bandage out of her pouch with one hand. She sticks it right on Karin's cut. I nervously reach my hand out and touch the cat's back. Oh, so fluffy and so soft and warm. Also that what a loud heartbeat. So small and yet alive. Life is very mysterious. Sakura, you don't want to pet him? Yeah, I see. No, um, um, uh, not so good with animals. Some people say black cats symbolize bad luck, but when you see one for real, it's not like that at all. The black cat's ears stand up straight as another meow comes from the classroom door. A white cat peers in. Oh! The black cat jumps down from Ayui's lap and rushes to the door. The white cat meows, and the black one responds by licking its back. The two cats seem to be friends and walk off together. <coughs> oh, kitty! I wanted to pet them more. Next time I'm gonna buy some catnip. Karin chan, you're gonna rely on the power of drugs. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> power of drugs! <laughs> oh my goodness! Woo! <laughs> Woo! There's no way this can be real in the game, whatever. Black and white, what a pretty combination. I wonder if they're a couple. They make a lovely couple. Aoi makes a kind of funny face in response. Yorkfield, did you have a girlfriend in your country? Nah, I was just average. I hung out with some girls who were my friends, but unfortunately, I wasn't really going out with anyone. Yeah, that's my real case, by the way. Yeah, of course, a goofball like you couldn't have a girlfriend, huh? Well, what about you then, Karin? I'm too busy with my idol activities to have time for that. Also, I'm dedicated to all my fans, so of course I can't have any one special person. What about you guys, Sakura and Ayoi? Hmm. <laughs> それ以前に女の子として見てもらえないっていうか
Hmm, I don't think about it much. I don't really get love and that kind of mushy stuff. Well, most of all, I think boys just see me as one of the guys or something. I, um, I'd love to have a passionate romance like out of her manga. Well, I guess we're on the same boat. I joke around to try and lighten the mood a little bit. But Karin, Ayo, and Sakura, you're all wonderful girls, so I think you could get boyfriends if you wanted to. What? No way. Man, you're blabbering embarrassing stuff again. Well then, your field, if you were going to have a girlfriend, who would you prefer? A girl like Karin san or Ayoi san? Huh? Karin is staring at me. Ayoi is trying not to make eye contact, but peeks over at me. Sakura looks happy. I don't think she meant anything bad by it, but if I don't play this right, things could go south for me real quick. Hmm, how to answer? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I have to choose carefully. A showy girl like Karin, a helpful girl like Aoi, a quiet girl like Sakura. Um... <sighs> okay, Sakura, I'm gonna go with you. Maybe a quiet girl like Sakura, someone who's mysterious, like I can't tell what she's thinking. She's like the ideal Yamato Nereshiko. What? Me? No, um, okay, I apologize. But like I said before, you're all wonderful girls. You're family, so I can't choose favorites. Man, I'm getting kind of embarrassed. Though it's my own fault for saying, saying it. So, so oh, by the way, next month is our field trip. I can't wait. So, so yeah, you're field. Are you going on a field trip? I can't get a high. The second year students go on a field trip during the summer break. It's like they all go on vacation together as a class. Sounds really fun. Of course, my exchange student schedule overlaps with the field trip. Eurofield, where would you like to go? The options are Osaka, Kyoto, Okinawa, and Hokkaido, right? Hmm, I wanna go to them all, I don't know. The land of commerce and food, Osaka. The historical area of Kyoto. It's by the way where Nintendo is headquartered. The eternal summer of island of Okinawa, the vast northern well, wilderness of Hokkaido. I'd like to go to all of them. But man, even besides those, there's so many places I want to go while I'm here. The Utaku Holy Land, Akihabara, the Yakuza game Mecca, Shinjuku, the forefront of Japanese fashion, Harajuku. I wonder if I can go to all of them while I'm here. Well, if I feel like it, I might be able to help you show you around. Really? For today, let's go just go get shaved ice already. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. We just got caught up in talking. Okay then, let's go, I think. I'll have green tea syrup on mine. Hmm, what should I get? Hyunagatsu sounds good, blue Hawaii doesn't sound bad, or well, maybe I should go with Okay guys, just kidding. Hyunagatsu? Blue Hawaii? What a nerd is Sui! Everyone picks up on their bags and stands. I grab my messenger bag and sling it over my shoulder as we leave the classroom. I glance back at the empty classroom. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this summer to its fullest. Yeah, you just gotta have shaved ice in the summer. Cool and sweet and fluffy and tasty. The shaved ice at Manigatsu, Mangetsu, 
Hyoka is quite ex the shaved ice at Mangetsu. Hyoka is quite exquisite. It's the best place I know. They only use specially selected natural ice. Its texture is so fine, no other store can compare. What an expert. Man, I'm cracking up just remembering Yorkville's expression. <laughs> he was making a big fuss, a bigger fuss about how he didn't get any syrup. He didn't know that Sui is just pure sugar water. He's rather knowledgeable, so I assumed he knew what he was ordering. He fell hook, line, and sinker from the, my ninja story. He can be unexpectedly dense sometimes. Don't make fun of him. Oh no, I'm not making fun of him. This is a form of close friendship. Oh really? Of course. Okay, so oh really is so nano. So nano. Okay, then is naraya. Naraya. Yorkfield sign is getting used his new life here. Yeah, oh hey, Sakura, what were you thinking this afternoon? This afternoon? You know, when you ask Yorkfield which of us would be a good girlfriend. Oh, that's, um, well, I have heard it's more common for students in other countries to have relationships, so I said it without thinking. I was so nervous. I don't know, is Japan really that different? There's a bunch of couples in our class. Huh? Oh. Hey, come on. Don't tell me you guys had no idea. Like Nishiwaki and Sasaki. Come on, you really didn't know? I didn't. Now I'm going to feel awkward when I see them tomorrow. Oh wow, you guys are so cute. So what did you think? Could you see Yorkville as your boyfriend? Yorkville is just like a younger brother who needs to be taken care of. He's an important friend of mine who I can talk to about Samurai Maiden, but no more than that. <laughs> I guess that's pretty much it, yeah. We will see you in probably the next video or maybe the 8th episode of TSL. So, so far the 7th episode was a bit longer than usual. It's been 39 minutes since I'm not recording and we have finally reached the end of the episode. So again, we'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, take care and remember, life is a game with many games to choose from. Peace, bye bye!